Guys, we have great news coming from FTX. Yes, Sam Bankman Freed has haunted us for many a month, but now he might actually save us. How is this possible? FTX is doing a distribution. You're like, distribution? That's usually bad because you distribute the Bitcoins back, people sell them, and the crypto market gets destroyed. Not this time, because they're not distributing Bitcoins, they're distributing cash. And get this, they already sold all the coins, so there's no more selling to be had. And it is a big amount, a big amount, 16 billion. You know how much how much that is? That's more than the US government has from Silk Road. That is a lot more than the Mt. Gox redistribution of coins. Yes, that's 16 million of possible buying power that they're redistributing back to crypto investors that they might actually invest back into crypto. That's right. You know, FTX owes their investors and creditors a lot of money. We all know that. But they already sold both the Solana and the Bitcoins, and now they have $16 billion in cash and they're going to pay people back finally. Now, unfortunately, if you're an FTX customer, you're not getting back the full value of Bitcoin right now. You are getting back the full value of Bitcoin at 17,000 and whatever the hell price Solana was at when FTX crashed. So you're still getting kind of screwed there because you uh, FTX basically forced you to sell at the market low. But hey, at least you're getting some money back. And for the rest of us, people getting that money back might put it back into the crypto market, and that would be a big boon. Now, they're, they said they're ready to do this, but I don't really know when they're going to do this. It could be any time between now at the end, and at the end of the year. If it happens actually in July or August, I believe that will somewhat at least counterbalance or entirely counterbalance the Mt. Gox selling. Because remember, FTX, like I said, actually has more than Mt. Gox. $16 billion versus about $9 billion. And FTX's $16 billion is basically set in stone because they basically snapshotted it at the time of the collapse. And obviously, uh, if we bring it to now terms and we have the present value of Bitcoin to be a lot more than $16 billion, but they're only getting $16 billion back. But that's still $7 billion more than the Mt. Gox sales. If they do it at the end of the year... Um, and they let the summer sell-off uh, continue, then we're going to have a mega bull run at the end of the year. Because not only will all the selling off of Mt. Gox be done, not only will the regulations be in our favor. Uh, by the way, uh, Congress is meeting to see if they want to overturn Biden's veto on the SAB 121 bill, which was, by a, bi was, which was a bipartisan bill, by the way. So, um, you know, not only will regulations actually be in our favor, but we also have this giant influx of money coming in. Now, it won't be as much as the stimulus that started off the last bull run. That was like, you know, a couple thousand dollars to like every single American that wasn't uber rich. And a lot of that eventually went into crypto. But $16 billion is kind of a jolt in the arm. And that might be our trigger for the bull run later this year. So Sam Bateman Fried and all his fuddling around um, might actually be the massive, massive trigger for a crypto boron this time around. Of course, there's going to be the second wave of institutional buying, as well as like um, you know, for maybe like foreign wealth funds buying and things like that. But in a weird twist of fate, FTX and Sam Bankman Fried might actually come back to ignite a super bull run past 150k. Now, wouldn't that be very, very ironic? Crypto super villain becomes the new hero. No, he's not getting out of jail and he shouldn't get out of jail because he still committed fraud and he still uh, made people lose a lot on opportunity costs. Because remember, if you're an FTX customer, you might be thanking Sam Bateman Freed for pumping your bags at the end of this year. But let's not forget, he forced you to sell at $17,000 um, and sell at the low. And many people would have actually held on and not sold at $17,000. And now you'd be worth over $50,000 or more than three times the amount that you sold for. So he still cost you a lot of money. So you'd still, you should still be mad at SBF and you shouldn't want to like, you know, reduce a sentence or anything. But just remember, there's a large amount of money. Now, I don't, like I said, I don't know how much of that's actually going to go back into crypto. I know a couple of people in my chat said it's going straight back into crypto, but I know that not everyone feels the same way. Some people are like, you know what? This industry is full of scammers and I want out because I already got screwed with once with FTX and I don't want anything else to do with this. 
I respect that if that's your view, but I do believe that like at least a certain portion of people are going to invest it back, especially if the market turns around and they see uh, a chance for profits because people are not satisfied with cashing out at a loss. They want those profits. And especially if like the market's already turning around by the time they get this distribution back, they will actually buy back in to cash in on some of those fast profits. Or if the market's still low, they might be thinking of buying at a discount and waiting for that bull run for those profits. Like I said, if it distributes this summer, I think it'll counterbalance a lot of the selling. But if it if you wait until the end of the year, we might have a mega bull pump. I don't really know which one you have. I'd actually rather they redistribute it right now so we have a higher base to actually work from. But some people might actually want to buy in at a lower price or possibly buy in at a lower price um, and have that mega bull run at the end of the year. And this definitely could be one of the portions of the formula for it. So that's the news for today. Let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. Hit that bell notifications button. Thank you and have a nice day.